Given a string text, return the maximum number of the word balloon that you can form by using any of the characters in this given text, at most once. Design an algorithm to implement that. That's about today's video. Let's dive in. <music> This is where my dream started. Hi everyone, this is Steve here. Today we're going through another um, very easy lead code problem, maximum number of balloons. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the question first. Um, given a string text, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. You can use each character in text at most once, return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. For example, we're given this text, uh, this text, the output is one because we can form up to one word of balloon. So you see here B A L L O O N, right? So that's why the output is one. The second example is this, and we are given this text. The output is two. Why? Because we can form two words, two balloon words, the one in um, green and the one in red. That's why it's two. And the third example is just the text is lead code. It cannot form any balloon instances. So we return the result to. Um, and there is a constraint here, which simplifies the problem again. Text consists of only lowercase English letters. So now how do we solve this problem? So basically, uh, we can use any, any characters in the given text, and we can use it only once for every single character. Um, how many um, instances of this word balloon can we form? So we'll just figure out what's the least number of characters that appears in this given text to form this word balloon, right? So this word balloon, balloon. So it has B, A, L, L, O, right? So these are the five distinct characters that form this balloon characters. So as long as we find, say, uh, one uh, B appears twice, and A appears three times, and I appears five times, and O appears six times, and N appears like one, two, uh, twice. How many balloons can we can we form? Two, right? Uh, why? Because the least number is two. The smallest number in all of the five um, characters, the number of um, frequencies that appear for every single character is two, right? So if uh, we can go through the given text once and then we will use an integer array to keep track of the frequency for every single character, and then we'll just uh, loop through this integer array once again to see which one is the smallest for this five characters, right? This is one case. But um, another case, we'll have to take a notice, I and O, they need to, we need to have two, at least two I's and two O's to form the word balloon because it appears twice in the word, in the single instance of balloon, right? So like say, if this is the case, how many balloons can we form using this um, after we go through the given text and uh, form the, such a integer array of the frequency of the characters? How many balloons can we form? We can form only one balloon, right? Because there are only three I's we need one more I to be able to form two instances of blooms. That's it. That's the only thing that we needed to pay attention to. That's it. Um, well, then we can start writing code. Here we go. Uh, we'll use an integer array count new int. And then next is we'll go through char c text char array and then next is what we'll do count c minus a plus plus uh, that means we will um, a very common tactic we'll just uh, initialize an integer array of the size of 26 and we do minus this character a to shift all of the characters to and to start from base index zero so it's going to from, um, start from in index 0 to index 25 to, uh, to denote the number, the frequencies of every single lowercase English letters. And then we'll return the 
the minimum number, the minimum frequency of these five numbers, right? That's what we're going to return. Then we need to figure out um, uh, which um, in index stands for which character. How do we do that? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just call alphabet, alphabet uh, number, alphabet number, so that we know, OK, how many letters are there in the alphabet? OK, now we see. Uh, a, B, C, D. OK. Um, so we need a 1B. B. So B is at, I uh, believe it's 1. 0 is always A. So math main count 0. And then we need another math main. This is uh, B and A. B, A, uh, L. This is L. So for L, we need a L is at 11, uh, which is count 11. And then another math main. Uh, 11 is here, and then O. O is here, 14. Count 14. Is that it? Uh, oh, okay. Last one is N. N is at uh, 13. Uh, count 13. Yeah, that's it. But then we have to keep track of this. We need to do a half of L and half of O. L is which? L is L is 11. 11. So we need to do a half of L. O is what? O is 14. So 14 needs to be a half. All right, that's it. We'll just return the minimum of all of these five numbers. That's the max number of balloons, this word balloon that we can form based on this given text. That's the, the entire code, um, very simple and easy. Um, logic is easy as well. So we just hit submit and see. Accept it, 100%, 100%. Anyway, this is a very simple and easy problem. There is uh, really nothing too much to talk about. Uh, it showed up as um, the first question during a contest, I don't recall, a couple of weeks ago. Um, as it basically a warm-up question to help people really um, get warm up um, during the contest. Um, that's it. Um, I don't think you will really encounter such a, just such an easy problem during even your phone screen to a technical position. Uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, by the way, if you like uh, my videos, please do me a favor and gen gently tap the like button and that's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one.